Greetings from Spain. Thank you very much for watching this presentation on the first randomized placebo control trial studying sublingual vaccination with MB144 reducing healthcare burden associated to recurrent urinary tract infection. I have no affiliation to disclose regarding this presentation. Women with recurrent urinary tract infection who are managed with antibiotics suffer from personal morbidity. Furthermore, this management favors antibiotic resistance develop and with spread and also burden resuscity with significant direct and indirect cost. MB140 Euromoon is a bacterial sublingual vaccine consisting of whole inactivated bacteria, Echerichia coli 25%, Klebsiella pneumonia 25%, Enterococcus fecalis 25% and Proteus vulgaris 25% that has proved, uh, proven an excellent clinical benefit in observational studies over 1,000 individuals. We aim to evaluate the effect of MB140 UT associated healthcare burden as well as its efficacy and safety in a randomized placebo controlled diet. A phase 3 multicenter randomized double blind uh, placebo control parallel group uh, trial enrolled 240 women aged 18 75 years with recurring UTI. Uh, uh, five or more than five uncomplicated cystitis during the previous year from Spain and United Kingdom. Patients were scheduled in they, uh, if they could not offer cooperation and or had several psychiatric disorder or presented with a pathologic post void residual urine, moderate to severe incontinence, genital and or urinary tract tumors, urinary diathesis alteration in the immune system or complicated UTIs. The study lasts 12, 12 months per subject. In the first six months, each subject received the treatment, active placebo or active and placebo, through the sublingual route, applying to express daily. The last six months corresponding to the follow-up period. Patients were randomly allocated to receive placebo for six months of or MB140 for three or six months in a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio. As we have said before, the trial medication was a polyvalent bacterial vaccine containing a mixture of four inactivated non lysed bacterial concentrates. The primary endpoint of the trial was the, to know the mean number of episodes of urinary tract infections with the trial meditation and with placebo. The major secondary endpoint was the UTI free rate in the, 90, in the ninth month of the study period following three months of intervention. Both other secondary analyses were performed as the number of consultation duty RTUI needed the consumption of antibiotics and dispenses of the healthcare results. The number of subjects who received treatment, excluded screening failures, were 230, and those who finished it were 195. As primary outcome of the study, the number of urinary tract infection episodes were significantly reduced in the, 90, in the ninth month efficacy period in subjects receiving MV140 compared to placebo. The median of UTI episodes was 3 in placebo group compared with 0 in both groups receiving MV140. A significant increase in the UTI free rate was found in subjects receiving active treatment compared to placebo. 25% uh, in placebo, 55% in MV140 uh, and 58% in MB140 six months. The median time until the patients of the first UTI was significantly delayed in MB140 receiving individuals. The results were similar when the six months efficacy period and the all study period were evaluated. The median number of antibiotic prescriptions were 4.5 per placebo group compared to one in both groups receiving MV140 during the whole period study. 
A significant reduction in the number in the need of healthcare resources were observed in the subjects that received the bacterial vaccine when compared to placebo, mainly due to non parameter visits to the urologist as well as the complementary tests carried out. No significant differences between active treatments, three or six months active doses. The median quality, quantity of the healthcare expenses per subject was 464 euros for placebo group compared to 132 euros and 0 euros in groups receiving MB140 for three and six months respectively. Only five subjects, 2%, reported no serious adverse reaction, two from placebo, urticaria, and thickened smokers, and three for uh, MV 143 months group, itchy muff, score muff, sore muff, uh, gastric discomfort, and general malaise and itching. In conclusion, MV 140 is an effective and non antimacrobial anti -macrobial option to prevent recurring urinary tract infection in adult women while positively contributing to reduce healthcare use, reduction in, uh, of antibiotics may indirectly help to combat the uncontrolled rise of antimicrobial resistance. Thank you very much for your attention.